Before we get into today's video, I've got three things for you. Number one, if you want to get a notification whenever we post a new video, make sure you ring that bell. Number two, there's a TCG Player affiliate link in the show notes. After clicking that link, every purchase you make on tcgplayer.com helps support this channel. Number three, you'll also find a link to our Patreon where you can support us directly. And now, kick back and enjoy the show. Hey, what's up, Spikes? Welcome back to another episode of Competitive Elder Dragon Highlander, or Sedata, as I like to call it. Yes. Mm -hmm. As it's known. <laughs> as it's known. It is known. Um, today, we're going to be playing uh, some pretty interesting decks. I think all four of these are uh, lesser known, at least at our tables. Um, they're most, actually all new contenders, uh, relatively, in the last about six months or so. Uh, and we're going to see what happens today. I am going first in turn order. I am playing Kazur and Ukima Food Chain. So they're partner commanders. The only one that really matters is the Whale Wolf, but you could have guessed that. Um, it goes, uh, it's a pretty basic uh, Saltai food chain strategy. Um, so you're just able to uh, make infinite mana with a cast from exile and food chain, and then uh, blink Ukima, uh, or like cast and exile and then recast Ukima infinite times. There is also a layered aspect to this deck with uh, a Lurin, which is kind of spicy. Uh, so we'll see if I can uh, find my cavern harpy and uh, get the beats to you guys. Mm -hmm. Speaking of beats, uh, I'm playing Paco and Holland. This is a Voltron deck. Oh, oh, that um, I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a mid-range deck, and uh, it's got some extra turn functionality built into it. But the idea is, uh, we are exiling non-creature spells off the top of our library to make uh, Paco horrific mm -hmm. and uh, okay. attacking oh, okay. him for real big damage. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, uh, point of order before we move on: Can you please uh, move your deck? Wow, okay. <laughs> Oof, thank you. Uh, so I'm Jan. Uh, today I'm playing Calamax the Storm Sire. Uh, I'm just casting spells and copying them. Um, that's the hope. The major thing you're trying to do is you're trying to get fork effects, and you can loop them with Calamax indefinitely and uh, make him infinitely large. Much larger than Paco. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> uh, and yeah. Hard. So I'm really excited to do a try. New commander. Um, you're happy. Yeah. Uh, and I am playing Croxa, Titan of Death's Hunger. Did you know Croxa has a mouth on its foot? On his foot, dude. He's got That's... a mouth on his <laughs> knees. And That's a it. really inconvenient place for a foot, methinks. Methinks. Me uh, it is a, just a Rakdos discardy synergy deck. And then uh, the main win is through comboing with World Warrior Dragon. Mm -hmm. So this is a. A fork off of my Xantialist because Croxa is superior. Mm -hmm. That's about all I've got to say. <laughs> Bill, please okay. take it away. I'm going to start us off by drawing a card. Interesting. I'm going to play a waterlogged grove in my pass the turn. So let's okay. Trigger. I'll play this Misty Rainforest and immediately crack it for a 39. Alrighty. You get a tropical island and then immediately tap it to cast this boreal druid. That's pretty good. Then I'm going to pass the turn. I'm going to untap nothing and draw this card. Uh, I am going to play a flooded strand. Mm -hmm. I am then going to crack said flooded strand, going to 39 as well. All right, I will see your tropical island and I will raise you a land warrior. Oh, wow, his taps for green. Yeah, yeah. pass the turn. Uh, I'll draw for my turn. To be fair, Boro Druid taps for snow. Uh huh. I'm gonna play this bad land. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pass the turn. Thanks. Well, Thanks for the color commentary, Daniel. Uh, yeah, you are. Value added. Yeah, you would. <laughs> um, I'm gonna play this. Yeah, my host. Just uh, blue green. Yeah, how can we be playing worse versions of our land? <laughs> uh, I'm going to tap this waterlogged grove for a blue and the out my coast for a colorless, going to 39. And Good. I'm going to cast Manipulate Fate. Ooh. Excuse So I'm going to search my library for three cards, remove them from the game, and then shuffle my library and then draw a card. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah no effects. 
Off of this Manipulate Fate, I'm going to remove Mist Hollow Griffin, Eternal Scourge, and Foresight. Foresight's powerful. The Elliot, I think we're dead. Uh, it's actually Fortnight. I, I misspoke, I apologize. Everybody knows that Fork Knife is the <laughs> best game right now. Uh, as part of the resolution of Manipulate Fate, I will also draw a card. Oh. And I'll pass it to you. Okay. What's that? Draw card. Deck thinning. Deck thinning. Deck thinning. I'm going to play this every day, so. And. Crack it. Draw a 38. I'm going to play this Taiga. Oh, that's good. Um. Gonna cast Arcane Signet. Ooh, good one. Are you paying a snow mana for that? No. Well, <laughs> incidentally, yes. <laughs> That's snow mana. Then I'm gonna cast Roger Tree Speaker. No elves. And I'll pass the turn. Well, I will untap. Draw this card right here. I will play a City of Brass. I will tap my Lenor Elves for a green and cast Solar. Oh. Uh oh. Yes. No effects. No effects. It's like a pain. Bring up 38. Uh, green, blue. I will cast Rash. Ooh. Yeesh. Uh, you got it. Yikes. No effects to Rash me. You got it. Uh, then I will pass the turn. Alrighty. I'll draw for my turn. That'll be good. Uh, I'm going to play this swamp. Cast Croc stuff. Uh, I'm going to cast this Rakdos Signet, sir. Oh, I don't want to give me any more. <laughs> uh, yep. Oh, I'm just going to pass the turn after that. Not tap. I'll draw a card. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play, actually, I think I'm going to do this first. I'm going to tap the Zabmyakos for a colorless. Wirelock to grow for a blue. And I'm going to attempt to cast Guilty Drink. Ooh. Oh! Okay, so, uh, 38. 38. Everybody's at 38. I'm on the, I'm on the throne. <laughs> I'll pass Barry and Guilty Drink. I mean, if you insist, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is, is a nice yeah. try, Jan. Uh, yeah, no thanks. Alright, I'll give me an average. Yeah. Nice, nice try, Jan. Uh, he would have gotten away with it, too, if it weren't for that. Bill. <laughs> the rules of the game require you to choose a target. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that is some rules. Is there is there a, a saying that the spike feeders have? There sometimes is. Uh, I think I'm going to invoke that saying right now. Uh, so I'm going to play no ancient too. Oh, okay. ancient I'm going to yeah, exile. Oh, I'm going to exile elvish spirit guide from my hand for a green. Uh -huh. I'm dead. I'm going to tap ancient tomb to dead? cast food chain. I'll pass um, priority. Yep. Uh, yep. I'm gonna exile Rashmi for five blue. Yeah. Yep. I'm gonna cast Mist Hollow Griffin from exile. Yep. I'm going to exile Mist Hollow Griffin for another five blue. Yep. I'm going to repeat that for all of the colors that are relevant for my deck. Yeah. Okay. Very good. I'm going to cast Kima. Mm -hmm. I'm going to exile it. Uh -huh. Take. Is it each opponent? Nope. Oh, Target. Okay. okay. Take two. I will uh, take two, and you will gain two. Okay. I'm gonna do it again. Oh, okay. I'm gonna do it a bunch more. Me? Yeah. Okay. I'm dead. Okay. I'm Suck. gonna do it to Jan. <laughs> what oh, an idiot. I'm gonna do it to Jan. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, uh, that's um, so sad. Okay. It is extremely sad. And I will admit, I got so lucky. The card that I drew off of Manipulate Fate was for Jan. Wow. wow. Uh, like, um, <laughs> the card that I drew for turn. Just after Jan cast that Rashmi, it was an anger of the gods. Okay, so <laughs> I had a handful of interactions. I had Mad Drain, mm. Wings of Rebuke, <gasps> a Braid, <gasps> and Risking Study. So if I hadn't gotten greedy and cast the Dragon Tree Speaker, because I was like, oh, we're like, uh, we're like Paco next turn, right? Yeah. We're like, turn three Paco. Um, we could have just like upbraided the Rashmi in response to the trigger, yeah. in response yeah. to the trigger targeting, and then he would have had to sacrifice the other Yeah, so both, both, yeah. But, yeah, and interestingly though, he or no wait, no, it was, he, you have to sacrifice yeah, the yeah, because yeah, yeah. oh, it oh, oh, if you can't trade yourself. Oh, I was yeah. like, yeah, if he got to keep the Gilded Drake, interestingly enough, he still wins because he had the Eternal Skirt Exile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, 
Yeah, so it's yeah. uh, I, I like had it if I had got greedy with the dark. Yeah, I was gonna say like I, I have Pongify, Electro Dominance, and Mana Vault. Yeah, so like I didn't have a ton of stuff, but like again, having one extra mana to Pongify and a Rashmi in response to the blue chain would be yeah. enough. It's yeah, good. yeah. So um, yeah, turn yeah. two win. Or I guess that was turn three. Turn three. That was pretty cool. Um, that was Bill's turn three. Yeah. Bill's turn three. So, so one first. We had two turns each. Yeah. Bill's turn three. <laughs> Bill's turn three. So I'm not giving this guild to How do y'all feel? We already have all the light of the set up. We already have like the decks put together. Yeah. That's true. How do we feel about running it back? Uh you, what would you call it? A a double down? Uh no, that's a double, double. double. A double no, double. double. Not sponsored. <laughs> but, wow. Yeah, if you work for KFC. You want to sponsor us? You want to hook a spike feeder up? Yo, <laughs> can we get like a family meal bucket named after us? The spike would, feeder bucket. I would, oh. I would settle for a family meal bucket. That's yeah, yeah. Cool. You want to be a KFC or like really any restaurant? And you want to send us something? Please uh, do it. We'll yeah. be happy to talk about how meal box. Yeah. <laughs> this this could be your promotional spot right now. Yeah. <laughs> the spike feeders KFC double up. No, double, double, double down. down. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, with all that said, double up. I guess yeah. we could probably double up. Probably could. Let's do it. All Let's right. Do it. You on, so uh, catch you next one. Hey, thanks for checking out the Spike Feeders on YouTube. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you click that subscribe button, and you can click this link to check out our other great videos.